Hail brave warriors! We will explore the best leveling methods, the most lucrative gold-making items, and more, in this complete weaponsmithing guide. The best method of leveling up the skill is quite easy. You will want to do the same things at each level stage but with different items. The level brackets are every 50 levels, for example from 0 to 50, from 50 to 100, and so on up to a max level of 250. There are certain milestones that players would like to reach depending on what they want to craft, but more about them later. So at every level stage, you want to do two things. First, you will want to craft every item once because you will be able to get the first craft bonus to experience. That will allow you to spend less on materials while leveling. Secondly, you will want to craft one of the items of your choice. To get an accurate number of items and materials needed, I always like to use the following webpage. New World Crafting Guides and Calculators from Gaming Tools. The link to the webpage is in the description below. Note that this webpage is not mine, but it is a very useful tool when it comes to figuring out the cheapest items to craft. Here you will also be able to import your server prices. The numbers I will show you are the maximum items you will need to get to the maximum level of this trade skill. If you follow the first part of the method the first time item crafted bonus, and if you salvage items along the way, you will need much fewer items than here. Now let's take a look at how much material you will need to level up at each level bracket. The numbers I will show you are the maximum items you will need to get to the maximum level of this trade skill. If you follow the first part of the method the first time item crafted bonus, and if you salvage items along the way, you will need much fewer items than here. From level 0 to 50, you will want to craft about 43 iron greatswords, and that will cost you about 473 iron ingots, 301 whisperwood, and 86 bright scale hide. From level 50 to 100, you will want to craft about 124 steel greatsword using 1,488 steel ingot, 868 whisperwood, and 248 bright scale hide. From level 100 to 150, you will want to craft about 167 star metal greatswords using 2,171 star metal ingot, 1,169 whisperwood, and 334 bright scale hide. From level 150 to 200, you will want to craft about 271 oracalcum greatsword using 3,794 cinnabar, 1,897 whisperwood and 542 bright scale hide. From level 200 to 250, you will want to craft about 449 oracalcum longsword of the sage using 4,490 cinnabar, 898 whisperwood, 449 bright scale hide, 4,490 softwood prayer beads, and 449 timeless sword shard. When it comes to gold making methods from weaponsmithing, you have quite a lot of good options, everything from honing stones and rune glass gems to weapon matrix and 700 gear score weapons. I will go over each of them, how much gold you can make from them, and what requirements do you need to meet to craft them. Honing stones gives you empower, and many players use it to deal more damage. The top tier can be crafted once you reach level 170. Usually, the most used one is the best, a powerful honing stone. It can be crafted from fire and death quintessence and obsidian void stone. Each honing stone goes for 95 gold at the time of recording of this video. The best way in my opinion is to have a pickaxe with fire and death moat perk and while you go and farm materials for the obsidian void stone you will passively get enough moats to be able to refine them into quintessence. Before I reveal more gold making secrets to you I have to express my deepest gratitude for your presence here. Should you find pleasure in such content? allow yourself to pledge allegiance and subscribe. Now, let us move towards greatness. Rune glass gems are used by a lot of players. They give you the option to get more damage for a certain element or life steal or stamina on hit or other options. When it comes to elemental rune glass gems, they count towards the empower cap as well. The cap is 50%. Making such gems is trickier to understand at first, but the methods of acquiring them are easier than you think. They can also make you a lot of money anywhere from 2,000 to 1,500 gold per item. Let's take a look how you can craft them. For the creation of the rune glass gems, you need stone cutting at 180. They are made from multiple items. Rune glass case, a cut pristine gem, pure solvent, and gold ingot. The best way to get gems is by mining platinum, mithril, or orichalcum veins with as much mining luck as possible. 
Pure solvent is everywhere and gold ingots are easy to get as well. Room glass cases are more complex to craft. You will need a weaponsmithing skill of 180. All of the materials that need can be found in brimstone sands. They are made from charged sand that one is made from sandstone that can be found everywhere around brimstone sands. Sulfur can be found around sulfur pools. Ancient glob of ectoplasm can be dropped from mobs in the following areas in brimstone. You can try to go in there, farm the mobs, loot the chests, and make rotations in four closest areas. You have two groups of four places you can farm it in. From my experience, you can get about four to seven of them per area and I have almost no loot luck on my account. The last material needed is glyphs. You need two types for each room glass case type. For more info about what case needs what glyph, and where exactly you can find them you can check on the New World Database website. In general, all of the glyphs can be found in the Brimstone Sands area. One of the easiest ways to get most of them is if you join an elite chest run in Brimstone Sands. Once the cases are crafted with your weaponsmithing skills, you can go to Stone Cutting One and finish the Rune Glass Gem or just sell the case. Weapon Matrix is a very important item as players can use it to upgrade their named items to max gear score and pick perks for their artifacts in the Gypsum Kiln. The skill requirement is 250. To be able to craft a Weapon Matrix, you will need an enchanted handle and a tempted cast. Handle is crafted with armoring skill and tempted cast is crafted with weaponsmithing skill. Both need prismatic materials to craft. On my server, the prices go for about 6,000 gold, and at the moment this is the best way to make gold with weaponsmithing. The next thing you can craft is of course the best weapon with all three best perks of your choice, and a max 700 gear score. For you to achieve that you need a lot of different elements. First, you will need weaponsmithing of 250. Then you will need either a chromatic seal that allows you to pick two perks of your choice with a 700 gear score item or an Azoth inductor that does the same but you can pick three perks. Both of them can be bought from faction vendors. Then you will need the following items. Your crafting gear. On the screen, you can see where you can farm them. Together they will give you 10 bonuses and a minimum to gear score. Then are your trophies. Each major trophy gives you 5 points to gear score. And together you can have up to three of them in your house for 15 bonus to crafted items gear score. Then is food buff. The best one is the savory vegetable medley. They give you 15 bonus points. With an Azoth inductor or chromatic seal, you will not need all of them to be able to craft your weapons, but having them is necessary for you to be able to get the best gear. Now the big question. Is weaponsmithing worth your time investment to level up and sell your goods to have as much gold as possible? Well, in short, Yes. Yes, it is. Most used items are the consumables and honing stones are always used by players who want to get as much damage output as possible. Usually, these players go to wars, do M3 mutations, or just try to get on the leaderboards for their preferred content. You can make quite a lot of money with all of the items and it will be worth your investment. Even Weapon Matrix and Rune Glass are huge gold makers. And to be honest, that is why most players max out their trade skills anyway, to make gold. As the battle comes to an end, my brave fellow warriors, I gaze upon your valiant faces one last time. I invite you to join me on my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, my noble comrades, for together, we shall conquer not only the battlefield, but also the realm of content creation.